Promising initial results from a COVID-19 vaccine, Pfizer and its collaborator BioNTech announced that its vaccine is more than 90% effective in preventing coronavirus in participants, and they expect to produce 50 million cases this year. CBS 4's Kelly Rinke joins us now in our newsroom to show us what still needs to happen before a vaccine becomes available to Hoosiers. Hey there, Debbie. Efficacy is an important step to determine whether a vaccine is viable. It also needs to be safe. State officials say it is unclear when Hoosiers will get a COVID-19 vaccine, but Indiana is already preparing. COVID-19 hospitalizations are continuing to climb in the Hoosier state, up more than 20% in the last week. Now help could be on the way soon. Pfizer announced its vaccine is more than 90% effective. The flu vaccine, it's usually 50 to 60% effectiveness. So this one uh, at a 90% is definitely much more uh, effective than even the uh, vaccines that are currently in use. Dr. Lana DeBebo is the medical director of infection prevention at Methodist hospital. She calls this news a promising development. I think this percentage is reassuring. In order to apply for FDA emergency use authorization, Pfizer must collect more data on safety. It plans to reach that milestone later this month. As long as we have uh, the FDA approving the, pro the, the vaccine and the side effects uh, profile established, that there are no major side effects that um, that this vaccine will be um, in in the market for production. Pfizer expects to produce globally up to 50 million vaccine doses in 2020, which means immunizing up to 25 million people. Once a vaccine is ready to be distributed in Indiana, IU Health Network will be one of the pilot sites. Some of these vaccines require what we call ultra low freezers uh, to keep it a low temperature. So we are, uh, we've distributed those across our system. Indiana health officials say hospital staff and employees in long-term care facilities will be the first to receive a vaccine. It's going to be uh, a limited supply to start with. And so we're, you know, I think the state's done a great job and health systems and we've partnered with them to uh, make a prioritization approach. Now, no serious safety concerns have been record, reported, according to Pfizer. Dr. Bebebo says it is possible that 90% of efficacy rate could change over time as they accumulate more data from this study. But overall, she says this is very promising news. Now, for more information about Indiana's distribution plan, you can find that on our website, cbs4indy.com. In the newsroom tonight, I'm Kelly Rinke, CBS4 News.